Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a very quick look at listening to and installing the Corsa 3-inch resonator delete pipe available for the 19 and newer 5.7 liter crew cab Ram 1500. You should be checking this out if you're looking to get rid of your factory restrictive resonator that's built into the factory resonator pipe there that's going to rob you of a couple of horsepower that you would get otherwise and also robbing you of some of that aggressive sound that you'd like. Now, right off the bat, you heard from our sound clips, when you're using a factory catback exhaust and just swapping out the resonator pipe for the resonator delete pipe from Corsa. Not a huge difference in sound, definitely a little bit throatier. You might get a little bit more volume out of it and it's gonna be a bit more aggressive because that resonator is such a restrictive point there. Now, you can also use this in conjunction with a Corsa catback. Now, if that's the case, changes the gain completely and you get a lot more of an aggressive sound out of that. If you pick up a Corsa aftermarket catback that has a resonator built in, you can swap that out for the resonator delete pipe like this one here from Corsa in the three inch option and it'll bolt right up and work just as well, giving you a bit more of an aggressive sound. So works with the factory exhaust, I'm gonna give that two out of five on our loudness meter. And if you use it in conjunction with a Corsa catback, it would bump up to a three out of five on our loudness meter. This is gonna be made from a three inch 304 stainless steel, the highest quality materials in the category. This is great for guys looking for one of the more corrosion and rust resistant options in the category. And really it's pretty straightforward. It's gonna be 220 bucks for the pipe here. The install, I'm gonna give one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. You can literally do this in 15 to 30 minutes at home. I would definitely say you can do it in the driveway without even jacking the truck up because it's just four simple bolts, two at the front, two at the back of the pipe, and you just swap them right out. Now that's gonna be the same case whether it's a factory exhaust you're bolting it up to or if it's gonna be for a aftermarket Corsa system, for example. As far as the headers go, as long as you have a three inch outlet, it'll bolt right up to the resonator pipe there as well. So it's very modular. You can use it in a couple of different circumstances. Either way, definitely gonna get rid of the restrictive resonator and give you a straight pipe design there with a very high quality 304. Now, with that said, I'm gonna show you every step of the process. Again, we're bolting it up to a factory catback and factory headers. What do you say we get started? All right, tools to use in this install include an impact gun or a ratchet, universal swivel socket, 15 and 16 millimeter deep sockets, and a hammer or mallet is recommended. All right, first step here, we're gonna remove our factory resonator pipe by removing it from the factory flange here connected to the cat pipe. Now there are two 15 millimeter nuts, one in this corner, one in the top right corner. Difficult to see the top right one, but I recommend using a swivel socket to get to that guy. For this, I'm using a 15 millimeter deep socket. All right, now for the top one, I'm gonna pop this off, put a universal swivel socket on, and then use my 15 socket on that to hit the top right corner. Now on the other end of that pipe is another flange. There are two 16 millimeter bolts, switching over to a 16 socket to get those off. You want to have a hand on the pipe there just because it may drop down. All right, so now you're going to slide this guy down, pull it off the studs, and set it aside. All right, so we got our factory resonator pipe off of our 1957 Ram, and it's on the ground here next to our new Corsa resonator delete pipe. Not a ton to talk about here with the exception of the materials and what it's actually doing. Now, as far as the materials, this is gonna be a 304 stainless steel, the highest quality stainless steel you can get in the category. This is a great option for guys located in wintry weather areas like we are here on the East Coast. We see a lot of road salt in the wintry months, which can definitely take a toll on your factory exhaust system. This is gonna be a lot more corrosion and rust resistant. Now, as far as what it's actually doing, it's pretty simple. Your factory pipe has this resonator, your new pipe does not. It's gonna delete the resonator, which is gonna open up not only a bigger sound profile, giving you a little bit more volume and a lot more aggression, but it's also gonna reduce airflow restriction, which can result in a small bump and a little bit of power and torque. So that factory resonator is there for a reason. It deadens the sound a little bit. It's definitely there to help keep things a little bit more tamed, but when it comes to opening things up, you can go with the resonator delete pipe to make things a lot easier. Now, the nice thing about this Corsa one is it's built for two things. You can use it for your factory exhaust by just removing this pipe as you just saw, or you can use it in conjunction with a Corsa catback. Now, if you are using it in conjunction with a Corsa catback exhaust, instead of bolting it up to the factory exhaust at that end, you're gonna bolt it up to your new catback, and you can use the hardware included in the kit with this to make that happen. So no need to go to a hardware store to make it happen. If you are bolting it up to a Corsa system, use the two bolts included in the kit. If you're gonna go our route and bolt it up to a factory exhaust, then you're gonna use all of the factory hardware. So at this point, let's bring this on over to the truck and get it installed on our factory catback. 
All right, first step here is we're gonna take this and we're gonna insert our flange at the cat side, the front of the vehicle, over those factory studs. Now it might not line up so perfectly just yet, but you just wanna get them started. From there, you can swing up the other side to line it up to the rest of the factory system. Now that's the side we're gonna focus on first. Grab your factory 16 millimeter bolts and put them through. And I'm gonna thread them on by hand. We don't need to go all the way on just yet. Just thread it on a couple of threads so it holds itself up. Right, so now that we know that's up there, let's focus on the other side. For this side, if your new flange plate doesn't line up to the bolts just yet, you can grab a hammer and just lightly tap on it to get it to seat. Now ours is seating pretty good, so we're gonna take the factory nuts and thread those guys on. It's also a good idea to use the anti-seize lubricant included in the kit, just dab that onto the threads before you finish things up. All right, from here, I like the way that's positioned, I like the way it's lined up, so we're gonna grab our socket and tighten these two down. All right, grab your 15 socket and tighten them down. And again, remember I switched over to a swivel joint to help with the top one. Make sure that's tightened all the way down so it's got a nice seat on the pipe. Let's go back to the other side. All right, before we tighten these down, just a couple of quick notes. You wanna make sure that factory gasket is still in place. If it's not, you wanna make sure you have a gasket there, whether you need to pick one up separately or if yours is damaged, you can replace it. Also remember, if you're using the factory exhaust on the rest of the system, reuse the factory bolts. If you're using a Corsa catback at the rest of the system, use the bolts included in the resonator delete pipe kit. Once those bolts are tight, you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Corsa 3-inch resonator delete pipe available for the 19 and newer 5.7 Crew Cab Ram 1500. Get yours right here at americantrucks.com.